You think you know me. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Christopher David Lawson of NEPA. And today's just a short video about the Scorpion XO Convert helmet. Um, I got my Scorpion XO Convert helmet here. First of all, I'm gonna say this is not a full face helmet. If you're looking for the protection of a full face helmet, this is not gonna give you the protection of a full face helmet. Uh, basically, this is a half helmet that can be converted into similar look to a full face helmet. Uh, this piece snaps off here, and of course the side piece here snaps off. But uh, what I like about this helmet, this is probably one of my favorite helmets to wear when I'm not moto vlogging. This has so much airflow through it that if actually if you're looking for a helmet that's really quiet, this is not going to be it either. What I like about this helmet is it's very... Uh, uh, very ventilated, I guess you would say. It's probably one of the most ventilated helmets I've ever got. And I'm going to show you why. Now, I snapped this front piece off here real quick just to show you. Uh, the inside is very is actually opened up. There is nothing here to close like on your typical full face helmet. Uh, this helmet will just protect you basically from insects and whatever uh, rocks or debris coming off the road. This will not protect your face though from impact. I'm just telling you now, if you're looking for the safety of a full face helmet, like I said, this is not gonna give it to you. But like I said, this gives you the freedom on a day that's very hot, that you like to have the ventilation, but you don't want the bugs hitting you in the face, you know, that time of year when you get the insects. Um, like I said, this bottom piece will snap off too. I've really never had the reason to do that. Uh, the helmet comes with a drop down visor. What's nice is this drop down visor will actually fit over my glasses. It doesn't come even close to my glasses, which is really nice. Um, it comes from the factory installed with the dark visor already on there. Um, it also comes in the box with this clear shield, which I haven't used yet. And you can also purchase these uh, mirrored ones. The mirrored one is actually not quite as dark as the one that's already installed on here. Uh, in the box it also comes with the bag. This is actually one of the nicest helmet bags I've ever seen. This thing is like lined. It will protect your helmet uh, if you say you store your helmet on the go. Um, like I said, this is a DOT approved three quarter. Technically this is a three quarter helmet honestly. It's not a full face like I've said. Uh, the inside is very comfortable. There really isn't room for a communicator on the inside of the helmet, but which is okay with me. I actually bought this helmet just as a go out and ride, you know, not listening to music. I'm not out there trying to moto vlog like I normally do. Uh, very light helmet. It fits me great. I normally wear a double extra large helmet in most companies and this fits me absolutely perfect. And of course, I've always been a fan of Scorpion helmets anyway. Like I said, I got the white because I wanted a little bit lighter color. This is my hot day riding helmet when I don't want to have any kind of vlogging. I guess my only complaint would be that Scorpion doesn't use the snap-in. They just use the standard D-rings, which my full face Scorpion was the same way too, but that's easily changeable. Um, I highly recommend this helmet. Like I said, if you're looking for something very light that allows a lot of airflow through, but yet still protects you from debris coming off the road, I highly recommend the Scorpion XO Covert helmet. Uh, I chose the white, but it comes in several different colors. There's black, and of course there's some, you can replace these with different uh, designs in the face shield. But uh, this is the Scorpion Covert helmet. Like I said, it's not gonna protect you like a full face helmet, but if you wanna be protected from the debris, and like a high flow helmet, I highly recommend this one. It's one of my favorites. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with some more gear reviews in the next couple of weeks. Bye for now.